Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy Nut, the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to the final episode of Marvel Spider Man. We're still gonna rip, well, just find those final recordings, but Today enjoy a little bit day. of J. Jonah Jameson before that. I will even give Spider Man and Silver Sable an ounce of credit. They did, after all, land the final. However, while the mainstream media trips over itself to keep lavish praise on these vigilantes, allow me to give you a dose of facts. Hammerhead would have never gotten this far had it not been for Silver Sable leaving behind all her gear in the city. And don't get me started on Spider-Man stoking the fires of a gang war and forcing a decorated police captain into administrative leave. So sure, they cleaned up the mess, but they were also the ones that made it. So that is interesting. We never heard back from Yuri after that. Not even a single mention of her. Well, aside, we did get a mention, but that's pretty much it. Uh, in this DLC, which is a bit weird for such an interesting character. So, next building. Lots of police tape and equipment at these scenes. Whoever is doing this must have access to this stuff. Of course, that's a good point. Police tape means that probably it's a policeman or, of course, woman behind all this. Could it be that it's Yuri leaving behind these things? Whoever um, left these wanted me to look closer at these accidents. Oh, I'm blind. It's right in the middle. I Never mind. Yuri saying this was ruled an accidental death. Food poisoning, I think. On the last recording, the therapist turned the tables on the Magia guy. Welcome back. Have a seat. So, did you bring me on? Yeah. Hope this takes care of your cash flow problem. Right. It most certainly does. Thank you. So, I assume you came to me because I have a few police officers as clients. You assume correct. But my boss and I are only interested in one of them. And who might that be? Captain Yuri Watanabe. Yuri? How is she mixed up in this? I'm afraid of where this story is going. I have to keep following it. Indeed we do, because it does seem to be pointing towards Yuri, because I thought it a bit weird that they never uh, finished up that story. So on the way to the next one. It's got to be somewhere nearby. All units. Another setup for me. So the box is probably, yeah, there in the satellite dish. I remember this. A person got electrocuted accidentally, but the victim had ties to Hammerhead. Yuri tried, but couldn't find evidence of foul play. In the last recording, they talked about getting Yuri's mental health records. Here's Captain Watanabe's file. Hmm. This everything? Yes. You ever record her sessions? No, I never record any sessions. That'd be unethical and illegal. Well, we'd like you to record her next session. And my boss has a list of questions he'd like you to ask. That gonna be a problem for you? No, no, no problem. I feel like I shouldn't be listening to these. And yet I can't stop. Seems that whoever left these wasn't satisfied with what the police concluded. Okay. So they wanted access to her medical files and then they asked her specific questions. So I feel like the next bit of recordings will be with Yuri in it. Yeah, I think J. Jonah Jameson noticed Miles as well. So, on my way towards the next recording. So next up is this one over here. Should be, there's not too many higher places, so I think I should be able to find the tape rather quickly. There we go. Getting it's closer. right over here. And then the box these has a good is over there. So let's just get to the, the ceiling. Recorder. 
There we go. I think there was a hit and run here recently. The victim was set to testify against one of Hammerhead's men. But of course, police never found a suspect. All of these reports are from the last year or so. But last month, Yuri assigned herself to all of these cases. Was Yuri the one who left all those recordings? Okay, Yuri, let's move on. Have your obsessive thoughts about the suspect continued? Yes. Sometimes I feel like I've almost got him. And sometimes I feel like I'll never get him. Are you doing your breathing exercises? Trying to. But? I know who he is. I know where he is. And I know what he's done. But I can't do anything. Not without legally admissible evidence. That must be frustrating. You have no idea. Seems like Yuri's hunch is that the guy on the tape is the guy that killed all these people. I think she might be right. Indeed, so she knows the killer. That's probably working for Hammerhead. But I feel like we still miss a bit of information to figure out what's going on here exactly. So let's head towards the next one, which should actually be right over here on the other side of the building. Let's take a look. On I one of the piers. So let's just find the tape. Okay, it's going down here, and it's market? right over there. The recorder must be around here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. I remember Yuri telling me about a drowning here. She was suspicious because the victim was a competitive swimmer. On the last one, Yuri sounded frustrated. You have no idea. That's it. Yes. I mean, we talked a little bit about her medication, but when is the next session? Why? What are you going to do? I'm gonna do whatever my boss does, Megan, though. Oh no! Are they setting up a hit on Yuri? Gotta get to those other locations! Well, I feel like if it's Yuri that's putting down these recordings, she would already know about it, but maybe not. Moving on. And on to the penultimate one. I think I'm getting close. Take a look over here. Seems to be right on top of this water tower. Let's go over here and pick up the Someone recording. Fell to their death from this ledge. It was ruled an accident, but was it? These case files are getting more and more recent. This one happened just a few weeks ago. You seem nervous. Yeah, well, the chief knew I was working undercover with you. I can't afford to lose my job. Maybe I should be the one doing breathing exercises. Well, isn't that interesting? Don't worry. I won't tell if you don't. Also. You're doing great. You're a very authentic looking doctor. Thanks. I think. You think he knows you were wearing a wire? If he does, he's a hell of a good liar. He's a Magia enforcer. We know he's a good liar. Question is, does he know he's being lied to? We'll find out tomorrow, I guess. You sure about all this? We catch him in the act of trying to murder a police officer, he gets put away for life. Yuri, what are you doing? I have to find her. Which means we need to find that final recording, and it seems to be right over there. So here we go. I think I'm close to the final building. Location. I think it's right up top Yuri's this building here. over here. Probably here somewhere. Though it seems to be... Is that it? it seems to be on this building here. There's the case file. There it is. And the last recording. Police ruled this a suicide, but Yuri had her doubts. The victim was part of Hammerhead's crime family. Hey, Captain. You ready for this? Ready as I'll ever be. I'm all wired up on my way to the office. Just picking up a coffee first. Okay. Drinks are on me when this is done. <laughs> Looking forward to it, Captain. Yuri's suspended, but she still won't give up. Hard not to respect that. Hi. Can I just get a large coffee? Hey, Dad. Uh, and there goes the therapist. Oh, why did I listen to that? New side mission unlocked. No number. Hello. Hello, old friend. Yuri. Meet me at the corner of Madison and Twenty Third. We need to talk. Wait. And Yuri. talk we will. Ah, she's gone. Wait, what? Uh, Yuri, what did you do? 
Holy shit. That's a bit gruesome. Yeah, I'm not gonna just stand on one of the wires. That's a bit creepy as well. Um, hello, sir. That's the Magia Enforcer. Dead. And the case files from all his victims. This guy killed all these people. But does that mean he deserved to die? Yuri. I know what you're gonna say, but just hear me out. The system works most of the time, but there are times when it doesn't. And to me, that's unacceptable. Some people put their trust in fate or karma or whatever, but I can only trust me. You can't kill people, Yuri. Apparently I can. And you know what? It felt good. You need to turn yourself in. For what? I just dispensed justice, true justice. And I restored a little bit of balance to the world. You're my friend, Yuri. I don't want to come after you. You do what you have to do, and I'll do what I have to do. Goodbye, Spider-Man. Yuri! Tom, what am I gonna do? This all okay. makes sense now. What Yuri did to Hammerhead. She's been struggling with this for a while. She's always held in her emotions. That must take a toll on her. But she's also the most tenacious and stubborn person I know. This was a bad guy for sure, but killing him? That's too much. So yeah, that was not really the send-off I wanted for Yuri. But unacceptable. There we go. That's the end of the storyline in Marvel Spider-Man for Yuri, I suppose. So all that's left now is uh, for me to take out two more Hammerhead hideouts, which might take some time. So give me a second and we'll head towards the first one, which is right over there. And here we go, right into the entrance. The entrance. <laughs> and closing off. Hi, David. Just found another Hammerhead hideout. Please, be careful. I will. So, what happens when we get all the caches? Some stamps on them and celebrate at Eddie's Pizza? <laughs> Eddie's, yes. I will miss that place. He's not going out of business, is he? Please tell me he's not. <laughs> No, no, it's just, it's nothing. And do not worry about shipping. I will take care of it when the time comes. Don't know if I can trust David. Feels still like he might be a bad guy. But uh, for now, let's take out the snipers. And then I will guess I'll see you guys by the end of me taking this place out. You guys live underground now? What's the red light? Asking for a friend. Everything going okay? Oh sure, you know, the usual. But I'm glad you called. How did you end up working for Sable International anyway? I guess you could say the job run. Go on? No, seriously, Hammerhead's guys aren't great conversationalists. Back home, I was a math teacher. I wanted to open my eyes to look at beyond our village. When the Red Star Rising began, and people started leaving the village, my students came to school. And yet, if I had known what was to come, maybe I would have acted differently. It happened in the morning, right as school began. There were nine of them, all with automatic rifles. They asked for names, but I won't give any. The nations wore out. They raised their rifles to shoot me. And that's when she came in. Who? Silver and Sable. She took out the whole group. She saved me. And the children. And that is why I owe her my life. Wow. You're a heartless mercenary. She's sometimes almost likable. Sometimes. This is now! Boy, I sure hope so. You guys are terrible hosts!
think I'm running out of enemies. There we go. Wow. Okay. Only took two tries this time, but that was a hell of a lot of dudes. Okay. Those humanitarian supplies should be around here somewhere. Biggest tip I can get, just go with electric webs, because those things are amazing. And just go for the heavy guys first and then take aid. care of the rest. So you don't get disrupted by anything else. Let's just open up that. Okay, that's not what I needed to open up, apparently. But this is the door, though. Ah, I need to pull out the train probably again. Like I did in the story mission. There that goes. And run over there here and into the room. Okay, David. Found a bunch more supplies here. I'll send you the location. You are doing a great thing. Each supply cache could save hundreds of some carrion lives. Why Simcaria, if you don't mind me asking? I merely wish to help the children of Simcaria, as I once failed to help those who relied on me most. Thank you again for finding those supplies. I will come by to get them soon. Hmm. Huh. Sounds like David's carrying around a little guilt. Like most of us, I guess. Feel like he was dodging the question there, but we'll see about that in the final hideout. The entrance to his hideout must so, be So, final close one by. is right over here, probably. That's right there, in. into the hole. And here we go. Hi, David. I think I found the last hideout. Great work. So, I was thinking, maybe we should store the caches at a local police precinct, just for safekeeping. I would prefer to safeguard them myself. I get the sense you're not telling me something. I had a work visa with Sable International. It became invalid when I quit. Even an ID check right now could mean immediate deportation. I really wish to finish this one task, and then I will go. Maybe I could help you with the whole immigration thing. Do not worry for me. This was my choice, and I have no regrets. Okay. Still feel like he's lying to us. Or at least withholding the truth. There we go. What are the objectives? 95 hit combo and a 15 dodge on the move. So dodge on the moves won't be a problem. Snoring now. Just silently taking out a few guys before we get started. And then we'll head in. And there we go. Come on, guys. Just hand over the humanitarian aid and nobody gets a foot sandwich. Hi, MJ. Can I ask you oh, I'm Jay. Sure, what's up? Remember that story you did on the shortage of teachers in the city? Well, you know someone who might be a good fit. If you have a decent. I think some of the supers are offering H1Bs based on credentials. Send me his info and I'll call around. Look up, you Okay, on to our final guys. Just tossing this uh, rocket launcher dude down the stairs, and then I think I have oh god, a few heavy hitters left, and I'm out of pretty much everything. But with the suspension matrix, I can keep them airbound, and then this again. Come on, hit the heavy guy. Kill him. You're out of your way, yeah, I am. But you know what? I can punch. There we go. And that's the last one, apparently. So let's just heal up. Whew. There we go. Final hideout down. Done let's see if uh, David will double cross us or not. Now, where are those supplies for David? Hmm, let's take a look around. Okay, so they seem to be behind this wall, so let's pull that down and enter the area. There they are. There we go. David. More supplies for David. The final supply caches are secure. Thank you. I will take them all to the Simcarian Embassy and make sure the aid is delivered. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I will. And thank you once more, Spider-Man. Guess that's it. Hope MJ can pull some strings for him. Let's hope so. Okay, that seems to be the last hideout. Nothing seems to be happening. Thought something would uh, pop up after that. 
but apparently nothing is happening. Let me just swing around the city for a bit and see if there's anything else that pops up in the meantime. Ah, there hey, we go. Hey, what's up? Spider-Man, I have the supply caches and I'm on my way to the embassy, but I think I have been followed. Where are you? I am not sure. I am... David! David! Hold on! I'm on my way! Hammerhead's men knew David would be alone and vulnerable. I should have seen this coming. Hang in there, David. So it seems like David is on the up and up. So let's take a look if we can't help him out. There we go, near the shipyard apparently. So let's just dive in immediately. There's David. He's in trouble. Gotta move. Okay, Magia dudes. Do I have the stealth option? I still have, so let's just take a few of these guys out. Hi, David. You look like you could use a little help. Let's just take these guys out. Nothing compared to what we faced in the hideouts. Just a bunch of normal dudes. Okay. Seems like there's a turret over there. So let's just use that as a projectile. And big boy. Uh, take him out with a finishing move because I hate those whip thingies One last glorious fight in this game. Oh god Let's just take a quad damage punch to this guy And there we go Took off the turrets, and that apparently is it. Much your thugs taken care of. Hold down. You're safe. You David. Okay? I think so. Thank God for this sable armor. So, what's next? Deliver the caches to the Simkarian embassy. Thanks to you, the Simkarians will finally get the aid they need. Just happy I could help. But I meant what's next for you? Well... A few minutes ago, I received a call from a school in Midtown. They offered me a visa if I accepted a teaching position. I don't suppose you had something to do with that. Good nah. things happen to good people. I can't thank you enough. Oh, I look at that. He got his hug. My students achieve their dreams as you have helped me achieve mine. Actually, I should be the one thanking you. For what? For reminding me why I'll always love this city. Okay. Goodbye, David. Have a nice life. And I feel like this is the perfect note to end on. Ah, so, uh... Is it me? Save our new friend. Brighter right now. Indeed. Save our new friend. Just aiding a human complete. The wages of war done. Few seconds. Or until something else bad happens. Yeah, probably. But with that done... I'd like to thank you all enormously for watching this entire series because I'm supposing that if you got this far you watched everything. So uh, thank you guys enormously for the support. And yeah, this is the final episode of Marvel Spider-Man. So see you guys in the next series because uh, we're doing a lot of new stuff on the channel. So we're uh, playing Throne Breaker, probably continue my God of War 3 playthrough after this. And uh, we'll also continue our group therapy playthrough of Soma on every Sunday. So thank you guys honestly for supporting all of that. And let's this end with Jage on the Jameson. This Goodbye. Is the big one. <laughs> I finally have proof. For years I have asked my dear listeners to send in photographic evidence to prove once and for all that Spider-Man is directly linked to the very criminals who plague our city. Finally. Finally, one brave anonymous caller has delivered the goods. We have clear photos of Spider-Man 
standing in the immediate vicinity of caches of humanitarian aid. Aid that was intended for Simcaria. And our heroic caller assures me that these very humanitarian caches are being sold on the black market. If I've learned one thing in my years as a world-renowned reporter, it's this. Photos don't lie. Spider-Man has been caught red-handed. No pun intended, puns are for wimps. So what do we do about it, you ask? We wait. We wait for the police to finally wake up and arrest this mass lunatic. At long last, this city is going to finally see that Jameson has been right about Spider-Man this entire time. Not only is he a thief, he's actually stealing vital food and medicine from innocent civilians who are trapped in a war zone. Women and children struggling to survive, hiding each day from a hail of mortars and bullets. Meanwhile, Spider-Man is stealing the very aid that might keep them alive. This is a new low, people. Even I could never have suspected Spider-Man of something this despicable. All we can do now as a city is to sit back and quietly reflect on just how right J. Jonah Jameson really was. Yet again. Don't ever change, Jonah. Don't ever change. Goodbye, people. See you later.